Hello and welcome to our Tractures Interviews series, where we discuss individual tracks of the 35 ACM Hypertext 2024 conference. I am Mariusz Pisarski, the General Chair, and with me today is Dr. Elisa Bastianello from Biblioteca Herziana in Rome, and Sally Blackburn Daniels from Teesside University in Middlesbrough. We discuss today the authoring and publishing of interactive and social media content uh, track, and it's a very exciting track directed to several uh, communities of scholars from uh, book history to AI-assisted writing. Could you please describe the scope of this track with a bit more detail? Yes. So the authoring and publishing of interactive and social media content track is dedicated to exploring how Hypertext has transformed authoring and publishing by disrupting, um, subverting or complementing book and media culture and practice. Submissions may focus on specific issues or theories of new emerging practices, rhetorical analysis or methodological reflections that take inspiration from fields such as, as you mentioned, book history, digital humanities, and um, media studies. Um, but we welcome a submission from academics and practitioners that are not even usually represented in at hypertext. Exactly. This is a track for, for people who would not usually associate themselves with uh, hypertext. Uh, what sort of communities do you see would be interested in, in, in this track to be on the Hypertext Conference for the first time, maybe? I think it definitely opens up opportunities for book historians, uh, material history, cultural history scholars. Um, I also think there's a good opportunity for literature students, such as myself, to get involved and see how um, hypertext practices can change the way we deal with marginalia, note work, and editing of texts. Many people would be interested in, uh, uh, would wonder what sort of submission is, is the best to uh, submit. How do you see uh, the, the scope of submissions and what would you most uh, welcome to the track? We invite the submission of long paper and short paper in general, but we would be very happy if uh, people that are not used to submit papers before conference, like in the humanities, prefer to send us a long abstract because we are trying to involve as many people as possible that are from different backgrounds. And also, if relevant, especially because we have um, an interest in things like platforms and ways of uh, publishing, demonstration and posters could be very interesting for us. Um, so that's quite a wide range. Um, just ask us if you have any other idea that might be relevant for the topic. And you would still be open for those other ideas. Yes, of course. <laughs> um, interactive so presentation will be very interesting. With so many different formats, what? How would you define the uh, strong submission? Of course, we will uh, we will have a free two two to three reviewers on each submission, so uh, the scholars might wonder what what's the best, uh, how to fit into this uh, different various formats from short abstract to an interactive demo. Elisa and I have worked hard to kind of find the right kind of peer reviewers for our program committee, and they we've got a nice selection that come from across multiple fields, not just those traditionally associated with hypertext. So that means that every kind of paper will get uh, a, an expert in their field. And we're looking for something that's robustly argued that may be practice or theory informed, something that's reflective. We particularly welcome ideas that are provoking and push the boundaries of creative intelligence in authoring and publishing. Thank you very much. Thank you.